You ever just sit there staring blankly at the computer screen wishing you had an easy button? I know, me too. But let me make your POD life a little bit easier. In the hustle and bustle of being an e-commerce store owner, you've got a ton of stuff to do. So get in the virtual front row seat as I uncover some hidden tactics to make your product creation process a little bit easier. Now I can't hold these secrets in any longer, so let's jump right into secret number one. Now we already know you can move a design by clicking and dragging it, or you can place it more precisely by entering in the numbers in the right toolbar. But did you know you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to place it even more precisely? You'll see here as I'm moving it, the numbers are moving in the right toolbar as well. And if we actually hover over any of the buttons, you'll see the shortcut pop up, like our pan shortcut. This means you can hold the spacebar and you can move the entire template. And if you go to the little question mark button down below, you'll see an entire list of all of our shortcuts. This next secret is one of my favorites, creating 3D text. To do this, all you have to do is duplicate a text element in the product creator. You'll then change the color of it and you'll place it slightly over that original text. Now, if you wanna reorder the colors or switch them around, you can do that in the right panel by simply clicking and dragging that layer to where you want it. Now, we just created this 3D text. What if we wanna add this same text to another product? Well, we can easily do that with templates. To create a template, all we have to do is drag our cursor over the elements that we wanna use again. We can click Save as Template, and then we'll name our template and save it. This will save into our templates library. We can do this with any of the elements. We can do it with all of the elements, or we can do it with just Mr. Whisker's face and the text, it doesn't matter. Again, click Save Template, name your template, and it'll save into your templates library. Now let's see what Mr. Whiskers looks like on another product. We'll go to a sticker, find templates on the left side, and we can add it in. You'll see that both of the design elements are still highlighted, meaning that we can adjust both at the same time so they remain the same size. Now we can also adjust them individually by clicking on one or other of the elements and we can make our cat head bigger if we want. We're gonna do that so it looks better on the sticker and we can make our text a little bit smaller. Let's go over back to our mug now so we can get into the next secret. Let's get into our next secret, 3D previews. So back at our mug, we see that we have a 3D preview option available. If we click on this button, we can actually drag around our entire mug, see both sides of our designs, see the handle a bit better, the bottom, the top, and we actually have another product that we can view in 3D. I've already designed a coffee label here, so let's click preview and see what it looks like will automatically be shown the 3D rendering of the coffee just like our mug. And we can click and drag however we want. We can see all sides of it. We can see the top, the bottom. We can see if any patterns are misaligned or aligned perfectly at the seams. We can also toggle off the 3D preview to see our regular mock-ups, the front, the back, as well as the inside of the package. So my coffee package is looking a little bit bland. So we're gonna create a pattern, which is the next secret, an AI pattern. Back in the editor, we can click on AI image and we'll be taken to a prompt. So I might use something like black and white because Mr. Whiskers is a gentleman, it matches our theme. And for cats, okay, I think of yarn. Let's go ahead and type that in and add repeating pattern and generate our images. Now the AI needs a second to think, so it might take a bit to load the images. This first image here really has nothing to do with our prompt. The second one looks like balls of yarn. The other ones, I'm not too happy with all of these. So we're gonna enhance our prompt, which Printify does automatically, and this will give the AI even more information to generate a closer picture of what we want. All right, these ones look a little bit better. The fourth one here actually kind of looks like it could be coffee beans, so we're just gonna use this one. We do recommend playing around with the prompts a little bit more though until you really get exactly what you want. 
So by clicking on the image, we can add it to our coffee template. Now we can either create a pattern with our pattern tool here, or we can use the button to fill the entire design to our placeholder, which will cover the entire package all at once. Now we just lost Mr. Whiskers, but don't worry, don't panic, we can reorder our layers. So once we have everything in place again, we can go to our 3D preview and check any edges or design placement and see if we're happy with it. This next secret I actually briefly mentioned in our coffee example, the fit and fill to placeholder functions. These are good to prevent having any white edges on products like pillows, canvases, or blankets. Let's look at a pillow as an example. We already know that we can drag our design to meet it directly at the edges and cover that bleed area, but we can do that better with the fit to placeholder function. This will bring our design to both edges so we don't have any seams showing. We also have the fill to placeholder function, which will take our design and cover the entire template. Now, I actually want Mr. Whiskers' face on both sides of the pillow, so I'm going to align him to the left, duplicate him, and I'll align him to the right on the back side of the pillow. And looking at our preview, we can see that all our edges and seams align nicely, we covered that bleed area, and there's no white sneaking through. This next secret is really useful for all over print products, and specifically those that have multiple print areas, like backpacks. So I've added Mr. Whiskers to a backpack here, but it's only on the pocket front. We're gonna adjust it, and I'm gonna use the pattern tool, but we can see that the rest of the print areas don't have any pattern on them. So instead of me going through and adding the design, recreating the pattern, getting the perfect spacing, I can simply click apply to all areas, and Mr. Whiskers pattern will now be on all six print areas. And looking at the preview, we can see that Mr. Whiskers actually aligns quite nicely, but we still recommend going through each print area manually just to get everything perfectly precise. And for our last secret, we're gonna show you how to perfectly place the left chest design. And we're gonna go back to our original t-shirt here. First, let's talk about size. The left chest design shouldn't be too big, but it shouldn't be too small. So we recommend going with a max dimension of four and a half inches. This will be better for more intricate designs, maybe some text elements, but if you have a logo or something that's more round or square, we recommend more three, three and a half inches. Now we can do this more precisely here in the right toolbar. And once we've gotten the perfect size, let's now talk placement. A lot of people will make the mistake of adding the design all the way in the corner of the print area, but then our design ends up kind of in our armpit. Not exactly a good look. So the secret here, take the design and we're gonna align the middle of the design exactly with the outside seam of the collar. Now you can also take a piece of paper to get it more precise. And we're, when we're talking about the bottom of the design, we're gonna try to line it up with the armpit. But if you have a smaller design, it's better to air up a little bit, especially on those ladies tees. So we can see that the placement initially looks quite good. It's not too far into the armpit. It's not too low. It seems to be quite centered with that seam on the collar. I think we can save our product. If you like these secrets, let us know in the survey linked below in the description, and you'll also be entered in our monthly raffle of prizes. And P.S., the more surveys you fill out, the higher your chances of winning. Now, we don't actually like to keep secrets here on the Printify YouTube channel, so we reveal stuff all the time, like what products can make you more money and what's trending.